Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be going over Kevin returning to Fortnite. He's actually returned inside a party house. I'm going to show you guys the exact spot he is right now, why he's returned, what it was for, and the future of creative and modding inside of the world of Fortnite. So, so much stuff to go over in today's video. If you are new around here, tap that subscribe button and don't forget to pop in code Postbox Pat to your item shop when buying any of the brand new Winterfest skins coming to the shop very, very soon. Thank you everyone considering to do that, but let's Let's get straight into this and head over to the location of Kevin. So his location is actually just to the left of the main stage. You can see down here, we've got the arcade on our right. We've got the softies over here. We've got the main stage over here. So if you start to head left over this direction, you should see him over in the distance over here. So you can see I'm heading in. There he is over there. He'll come up over this hill. But just before we get right to Kevin, Fortnite actually sent me this package today of this bag right here. I'm going to be unboxing this tomorrow and going over it in tomorrow's video. So if you're excited, to see exactly what's inside of this bag so tap that like button and let me know in the comments what you think is inside of here this is really exciting stuff thank you epic again for sending this over i can't wait to break down what is in here for you guys all right so kevin he's just over here you can see in the distance we actually have his shards over here and then kevin right there so how awesome is this let's rotate in a little bit you can see there it is we've got the purple structure and there we have the kevin shrine itself with a bunch of loot around it and there he is he's got two kind of like torches next to him as well as kind of like free shrine pieces and then kevin himself glowing down here with a bunch of cool particle effects around the outside of this so this is kevin's location this is really awesome to see him return to the game technically in the party royale and i wonder if this will stay here i don't think this will stay here for that long so come and visit it while you can because this will soon be removed so make sure you're popping in and coming to check it out because it won't be long before this does get removed out of the game so if you're available to pop in and can come and visit it do because it won't be here forever all right so that's just located outside of the football pitch area by the main stage and come and visit Kevin's area right here. All right, guys, so that's the location of that. Anyway, let's jump into some details on the modding and the creative expansion, which is absolutely huge for the entire world and player base of Fortnite. So let's jump into that. Okay, so today on Twitch, we saw an Unreal stream where they broke down all of the future of Unreal Engine 5, how it's going to work with Fortnite creative and so much more. And I want to break down the creative part for you guys, give you guys an insight to exactly what is going on with this, where can we expect things to go, and basically just overall how the system is going to work from what we know so far. It's not going to be out until late 2021, so almost a year from now, and it even could even be later than that with that only being early access to some users. And it could even get added into BR in the future as well, but that would be even later than this after they've got it working in creative. And there are two systems which they've announced. They've announced a code coding system and just more of like an object moving one. I don't know the exact terms, I ain't a programmer, but I'll try my best to explain this to you guys without playing the video, but I will link it down below for you guys so you can watch it after today's video. I'm gonna explain it in the best terms I can so everybody understands. So right now on screen, you can see this is what the editor is gonna look like on the PC. So this is gonna integrate nicely with Fortnite Creative and it's gonna allow users to be able to create different stuff that isn't currently in the game. So you're gonna be able to modify the color of objects, you're gonna be able to modify their effects, you're gonna be able to modify other things, add your own things into the game with certain moderation levels which haven't been confirmed yet, but I'm sure there will be moderation levels on that to stop people from adding strange things into the game. And you will also expect uh, a lot of different things to be moderated before they're even published as well and a lot of terms and conditions you've got to go through so this itself is how kevin itself actually worked this is the whole mapping of his program or his programming and basically his whole sequence now there is a color little palette thing on here which you can zoom in on and select that and this gives you the option to change the color now again i'm only commentating over their footage this is not me doing it i personally do not have the knowledge to do this just yet but i think i will research into some of this stuff and try and get my head head around some of the Unreal Engine stuff because with this linking into creative it's going to allow for an expansion of basically the normal creative tools so the way they want to link into this is make it a simple version of the Unreal Engine or a simpler version very similar to how it is now but a little bit more simpler and also allow you to still edit in creative as well so you can combine both of them together and build something crazy and this will allow me to do a lot of different game modes which I've had in my head which I've been unable to create because 
there's limitations on Creative Chrono. Now this won't be until late 2021, obviously, and I'm gonna to need to learn a lot of skills to get my head around this, but it's something I am very, very excited for. So you can see, first off, we've got a bunch of these stones coming in right here. These are main shrine Kevin stones, and this is how Kevin was born in Party Royale right now. Now, if you were lucky enough to be in Party Royale at this area when this was going on, you would have seen all of this take place in real time. That's the most unique thing about this. They are showing you editing the map, creating map changes, in the real time world so at any moment this can happen in the world of fortnite which is so awesome and not just the world of fortnite this can also happen in any other universe or any other world which is created in this unreal engine 5 so really awesome to see all of this sort of stuff going on you can see all the different assets being placed in here and even some kind of like textures and stuff for the items allowing to give it that kind of nice effect and if you were in here live inside of fortnite right now if you were in the world right this second you would would see all of this going on and that's why Kevin has spawned in so you can see this is the particle edit you can edit the particles edit them to how they would suit you and retexture this I think the main thing to take away from all of this is you are allowed to take all of their assets that they're given to you and redesign them in your own look so you can take any asset relook like redesign it make it look a different color different design different shape different texture different pattern different kind of obviously sequence or even program behind it on its mechanics in the game and this would actually allow you to do that so that's really awesome you can see upload project here so what this does is this uploads it to the world in real time so you can now see we've got a few different perspectives here from console pc these are all in the party royale area and you'll see it just loads in instantly like that and kevin just spawns straight in right like that and that's where he is right now if you go there you'll see him there but not only that if you happen to be at this location in real time you would have seen all of this editing going on now obviously this is isn't perfectly in sync to the actual real time of them moving it around but it's basically instant as soon as they move something it kind of changes as well as Kevin floating as well you would have seen the I guess more rectangular version of Kevin rather than the cube style rotating around in Pirate Royale if you were at this section and I'm pretty sure if I saw this and wasn't watching the stream I'd be pretty confused so I thought that was really cool that they're showing off these effects and how Kevin was born inside of this Unreal Engine start side of stuff so definitely one I am very excited for and I think a lot of people will be interested in this who do a lot of creative stuff. Now, the barrier to entry on this is quite high, so you're going to need to know a lot about programming and stuff, but I do think Fortnite are going to limit this and kind of allow it to be, not like limit it entirely, but allow it to be kind of accessed by more people by making it a little bit more limited on the actual tools you have, so it makes it easier for people. That's what I think is going to happen, but we also have some details on the code itself. So, we have some information on, so you can see it's moving there and people are throwing different things there. That's really cool. But we actually have some details on the upcoming code inside of the world of Fortnite right now. So the next thing they're working on is this new coding system. Now this basically is gonna allow you to create your custom LTMs inside a creative as well as be able to code them. So there's currently a lot that goes on in creative which I can't create because of the limitations. So now accessing this new code like thing, this will allow such a big depth on the exact game modes you can create. You're gonna be able to create stuff that doesn't exist currently in creative and actually make it to your liking, which I think is going to be awesome. I think a lot of people are going to use this. A lot of people are going to take advantage of this and be able to create new LTMs, new game modes never seen before in Fortnite because of the limitations. And it allows games to run 10 times better and even your building skills to progress. Now, becoming a coder in Fortnite Creative and a builder are two separate tasks and they're both as difficult as each other. You've got to have the artistic eye for the building and then for the coder, you've got to kind of have the brain of a coder. So really, really interesting stuff right here. I generally have a a decent artistic eye not the best but a decent one and coding wise my knowledge does lack so I'm gonna do some research on it get some inside information to it and just you know just get a kind of like insight into the Unreal Engine but that's it for today's video I hope it has given you guys an insight to all of this I will link down below the Twitch stream so you can watch the entire thing of exactly what they went over make sure you go and check it out if you more if you want some more details and some questions being answered hope you guys have enjoyed leave a like comment and subscribe and once again this is Postbox Pat signing out